friends, today we are going to quickly explore Xtool laser marking spray. So let's get cracking. Of course, before we get going too far, let me show you where you can find it. If you visit xtool.com and you search for marking spray, bingo, you can find it for $29.99. Of course, I'll also have a link in the description. Of course, keep an eye out for coupons and let's check out what you can do. We can mark glass, metal, and transparent acrylic. It gives us a permanent high contrast black mark. All we have to do is put on an even coating. Dries pretty quickly. Works with CO2 diode and fiber lasers. And it's easy to use. Friends, let's check out the steps. Make sure you read these carefully before we get started. But as you can see, no flames wear eyewear. Have a respirator. Make sure it's in a ventilated environment. Avoid static electric discharges, cease work and wash areas if you get it on your eyes and nose or mouth. Immediately move to a different and well-ventilated environment if you inhale it and contact local poison control if you ingest it. To operate it, prepare the surface with denatured alcohol and dry it. Shake the can vigorously two to five minutes for best results. Apply the spray evenly from six to eight inches left to right motion until the surface is covered. Let it dry for 10 to 30 minutes or use a heat gun to speed up the process. Once dry, you can head to your laser and do your engraving. When you're done, remove the residual marking spray with water and a cloth. Finally, store the can horizontally in a cool, dry place, and repeated use may accumulate residual spray, which may pose a fire risk. Therefore, it's important to clean surfaces regularly. Friends, we are out in my shop. Right here is my cool ventilation system. We're going to be using the longer laser. I've got a little bit of metal that we're going to test on. It is going to be quick today because in Michigan, it's only 26 degrees and my garage is not heated. Of course, my respirator is right here. I can also hit the fan. That's how loud it'll be, so I'll do a voice dub over that. So as I said, we're not doing all two minutes of this on camera. Here is our piece of scrap material. On comes the fans, next comes the dub. So here is the even spray from six to eight inches back and forth. And right now I'm going to grab the heat gun and let's dry this quickly and also heat my shop for a moment. I did this for about a minute and a half. Notice it does become a little bit more of a sand color as it becomes dry. All right, friends, so I'm going to make this project quickly in light burn. I'm going to take that small bit of metal and I'm just going to put a tiny bit of text on it. I'm going to actually name a golf club because I can never tell the difference between my nine and my six. So I'm going to just put the word nine on a golf club eventually. Right now we're doing the test though, so I'm going to make this quite small. You can see that when we select that, it is only about 16 millimeters across. Just for fun, let's pick a little bit cooler font, Arial Black, that'll be a little more bold. Once again, this is less than two centimeters across. That way it'll be a good test, but it'll also print super fast because my garage is freaking cold. Now on the back of the instruction list, you can find out how to use the different lasers. Doing a test print where you match the material, the speed, and the different powers is brilliant. I am just going to use guess and check today to see how it turns out. I'm going to just pick 275 millimeters per second and 75 for my first power test. Let's go to cuts and layers, and like I said, I'm going to set that fill at 275, 75 power, one pass, and 0.1 for the interval. Of course, we're dubbing audio because of how loud this is out here in my shop. Right now, I'm going to nudge that out so we can test it. I have already got the height marked correctly with the little kickstand. Let's quickly hit frame and see if it fits in that little block. Close, but no cigar. I'm going to just nudge it up a couple clicks. Let's give it another frame and see if this one is better. Bingo, that's what I want. So of course, let's grab those safety glasses and let's make something magical.
All right, so it's completed. Shut that off so it's a little quieter. There you can see our Word 9. Let's take it down, rinse it off, and see how it turned out. All right, friends, so there we are. The metal with the spray, a damp cloth, And bingo, we have got the word nine marked. How cool is that? Friends, that wraps up test one of the X-Tool laser marking spray. I am looking forward to playing with it more. It was an absolute blast on this first test. Make sure you stay tuned to see what's coming next. Friends, I do want to give a quick shout out to my supporters on Patreon. Absolutely love how that community is growing. Make sure you check out the link in the description or the bit.ly up above. Lastly, friends, I want to thank you for watching the video. Don't forget, every time you click that like button, share a video, add a comment, or hit subscribe, you're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.